but we'll get it out and set it right on the ground. Okay. Let's go like this so we don't block the road off. Just put it down. My name is Brian Shenskis. I'm on a quest to grow big cabbage, hopefully a world record someday. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the giant It's a good competition um, with a lot of money involved. 2000 for first, 1000 for second, and I've gotten the $500 third place prize the last three years. Okay, let's, let's just take it right off with it right here. I think this could be a very, very competitive cabbage, not just for today's competition, but perhaps for a record. This has got to be your year, year. I mean, it's got the head. It's got to be got Trying to grow bigger and bigger cabbages each year and uh, working as hard as I can to, uh, to make it happen. Near Fairbanks, Salta, Alaska, we're up to 20 and a half, almost 21 hours of sunlight now. The more sun there is, the faster they grow. Probably the biggest mistake people make is starting them too early because cabbages, once they start growing, they need to keep growing fast and, and you don't want to slow their growth down because it inhibits their potential. I grew a 94 and a half pounder a couple years ago from, from a seed to when I cut it was less than, no more than 90 days old. And you know, when they first start growing, they're not putting on a pound a day. So somewhere along the line, that cabbage was putting on a couple pounds a day. I don't have to grab a hold of my hands. <laughs> it's no secret that fish is a good fertilizer, and in Alaska we have so much available. I enjoy eating red salmon every day, and so do my cabbages. <laughs> so everything kind of works together. I'm not just trying to grow the biggest cabbage, I'm going to try to grow it totally naturally with fish, and um, that's what I've done so far, and it's been working good, and I'm not going to give up on it. That's pure food right there. From my house here, it's a, it's over 300 miles, 330 miles maybe. Anyway, I put it in my van and uh, we drive down. And uh, I'm the only one from outside of Palmer Wasilla area that that brings a cabbage. Let me let me know if you get tired and you want to take a break. Being so far from the contest, um, you know my cabbages are going to lose quite a bit of weight from what they weigh in my yard to where I they get weighed in, because it's usually 10, 11 hours later. This was the experiment, so it wouldn't lose weight. Leave the root bar on and then take it off. But I may have a little advantage with the more sunlight north of the Alaska Range than they do down there. I'm, I'm hoping that makes a difference, but I, I don't, we'll find out. Well, that's definitely a contender. <laughs> oh yeah, and when I dug it out, it just went yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We got weight here. <laughs> it's pretty competitive between uh, Steve Hubachek, uh, Scott Robb, and uh, the Dinkles, and, and me, and there's some other guys too. Um, it's very competitive. Now what's gonna happen is the, uh, the growers are going to bring their cabbages forth. They're gonna be placed on the, the scale, and we're going to get an official weight. That official weight will not be publicly known until it is announced from this microphone. Well, in second place here, we have Brian Shutsky. And that we did at 83.85 pounds. This year's winner, Steve Hubachek. Steve's cabbage today is 92.15 The weights were down for everybody a little bit this year, but I moved up from third to second this year, so I'm happy with it. So I'm going to try different cabbages and continue my seed program and and I uh, hope someday to uh, win. I've even heard the cabbages grow. I mean, I, I was out looking at one of my cabbages one morning and I heard a noise and I turned around and the whole plant was shaking. <laughs>